Starting out on a creative journey, it's hard not to be frustrated by small initial growth. We live in a world of amazing technology, but also one of instant gratification, which can bring about its own set of unique challenges. It's taken me months of washing dishes to save up for a new laptop, right? And now, with one click of a button, it arrived the next day. It's so easy to expect the same kind of 0 to 100 leaps in progress when it comes to creative work, and that's a problem. Now, I've been thinking about a question. Imagine your favourite musician, artist, actor, just creative in general, right? Think about the person whose work has positively influenced your life. When did you discover them? Chances are, before you even laid eyes on them, they had already spent years working on their craft and they had accrued thousands of followers already. Not that numbers are the you know, be all and end all, but it's a metric to show that they had been on that path for far longer than many of us are aware of. Now, if you just want to put a Spotify playlist on whilst you're washing the dishes, then why would you care about the struggles of an artist? But if you want to go down a similar uncommon path, then it's worth understanding that if you're willing to give your undivided attention to these superstars who have paid their dues with years upon years of work, why not afford the same luxury of time to yourself? Personally, I beat myself up about my creative progress. Numbers, comments, subscriptions. At 18, I am at an overwhelmingly transitional part of my life right now. Everyone seems to be doing so much better than me and there's an urgent sense of proving yourself that you're worth the space that you occupy in a way. But I'm trying to remind myself simply, every now and then, that good things take time. And they should. Rome wasn't built in a day, a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. We've all heard it, but we rarely enact it. I guess that's what makes those sayings so timeless, because they address things that we're bound to lose sight of. The idea that you shouldn't expect any major acclaim for your work for the next couple of years is quite a disheartening one, but on another level it could be freeing, because you, know, you can try things out without the pressure of having an audience from the get-go. If you expect minimal growth and embarrassing flops to begin with, then when they do inevitably happen, then you want a stricken of guilt about what you could have done or how it should have been better. Leaving our work in the hands of time could help us all. 15 views in a day. What the f I really want to release an EP in the, um, in the near future, so I'm going to try and keep my cards closer to my chest and um, I'll just be playing like segments of songs after these more maybe discussion based videos. So, hope you enjoy. This one's called Moonlight Lullaby. I know it seems lost for you in dark, dark moments But you've got a gift or two so why not share a This world needs truth and love A little more of what you're thinking of I'll play you a moonlight lullaby Think of better days when we wouldn't cry This world may knock you down But don't you worry child, we'll be alright Close you 